stage is yours. Okay. Hey, hello everybody. I'm Wolfgang and I love BGP. So, I did the BGP. <laughs> I did, I did the BGP tutorial yesterday and I came up with an interesting comparison. You all know medieval castles, right? Well, BGP is the medieval castle of the internet. It was invented and built a long, long time ago and then somebody added a tower and some windows and some other windows were taken away and some other tower. Well, this is the newest tower of BGP. It's RFC 9234 and it's about adding roles to BGP neighbors. You all know this situation. You are a customer of a transit provider. You get prefixes via BGP announced and then you had the idea, oh well, let's add a second transit provider. And what happens? Flooding, because you forgot your filters. Please, honest raise of hands, who did flooding? in BGP before. Okay, yeah, it happens. It happened to everybody, it happened to me. So you want to prevent flooding and for that you need filters. For filters you need knowledge, you need sophisticated uh, configuration, you need automation, everything. And uh, this RFC is trying to make the whole process a little bit easier. So you have your BGP neighbors you have transit providers, they have customers. You transit providers announce everything to customers, customers announce their own prefixes and their customers prefixes to transit providers. You have peers, both announce only their own and their customer prefixes. And being at an internet exchange, you have route servers and you have route server clients, also all the same. And what you notice here, these roles of neighbors there are only certain pairings allowed or only certain types of pairing happens. So customers calls always, always connect to transit providers, peers to peers and so on. So why not declare yourself in setting up a BGP session what role you have in that session? Configure this is my neighbor and my role in this BGP session, I'm a customer. And your neighbor configures my role in that same BGP session is being a transit provider. And then you can check if the pairing matches. So checking your role and your neighbor's role, if the pairing is not valid, well, do not bring up the session. You're not connecting a transit provider to a peer. You only connect him to a customer. Uh, of course, to be backward compatible, you need to have a way to say, well, I didn't finish my configuration yet, so if one side did configure nothing, you can still bring up the session, but if both sides configure a non-matching role relationship, simply keep the BGP session down, don't bring it up. That's the first part of this RFC. And uh, these two modes, of course, are called strict mode and loose mode. And uh, if your router vendor implements that, you can start with that right now. Well, not many router vendors already do. So is that all, just the roles? No, it's not all, there's more. You can also tag the prefixes you have received. If you receive something from a transit provider, you might only want to announce that to a customer. You never want to announce it to another transit provider. So you receive a prefix, you put a flag on it called OTC, which means only to customer. And if you accidentally want to uh, announce that to another transit provider, it's automatically blocked. So that's automatic filtering using this feature. And uh, well, it's a little bit more complex than I have shown in the last slide. This OTC flag also carries an autonomous system number and with that you can check that flag on ingress and on egress. Basically the whole filtering mechanism happens automatically. In ingress, if OTC is present and the AS 
in OTC is not equal to the sender's AS discard the prefix. And uh, if ingress also, if OTC is present and the sender is a customer, then discard because that's flooding. And uh, if OTC is not present and the sender is a transit provider, peer or route server, then you simply add the flag with the sender's autonomous system number. So you do not flood it further, or do not send it further. On egress, similar. If OTC is not present, put it in, put in your own AS number. And if OTC is present and the other side is not a transit, is, do not send the prefix if the other side is a transit provider, peer or RS. Keep in mind, OTC means only to customer. So if OTC is present, the other side in the peering relationship must be a customer. So, well, there's one slide missing. Um, implementations. I know that it will be in the next release of FR routing. I, somebody from BioBGP, Bio Bio Routing, not sure, gave me a heads up that it will be implemented there. I know that it is limitedly implemented in Mikrotik, but I have no ideas about others. So uh, if you see it in your router vendors, let me know. Otherwise, this is quite a nice feature to keep BGP a little bit more secure and keep flooding from happening. So, any questions? Thank you, Wolfgang. Do we have any questions? Just for the record, biorouting already has this implemented. Great. Any more questions? No questions from our audience. Okay, shall we go directly to the next talk? Or shall we do like, a, it doesn't make sense to do a one minute break. There's one online. Oh, one online question. Um, what's the limitation in Mikrotix implementation? <laughs> I have, to be honest, I have no idea. I haven't tested it. Uh, it's just that they implemented it before the final RFC was out. So they went after the latest draft. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know what the actual limitation is, but you can configure roles in Mikrotik BGP. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Wolfgang.